Hey, check this out. I went out for a walk and I happened to record it and this was supposed to be a different clip, but here we are, man. This bird flew by and I, I kind of followed him and I thought it was, uh, thought it was pretty cool. All right, what is going on, my dudes? We are back here today with Alliance War Season 33, War Number 3. So in War Number 1, I did this fight with Anti-Venom here, and I was like, I don't see myself really doing this fight uh, too often, but here we are doing it again. Um, and the first one went so well. It was so beautiful. It was so perfect. It was really like one of my most perfect war fights i've ever had seriously man like it was just so good <laughs> it was just like textbook perfect um this one's not it's not it's not as perfect it's good it's fine um anti-venom is really good for this fight this fight is rough man to be entirely honest um just because void is is very punishing here with the node so you really do want somebody who is both immune to incinerate and poison so that really leaves anti-venom and penny as like the the top top options um red hulk he gets the debuff first right so that gives um void the chance to get the the fury which is makes him hit hard through the block and everything right um so you're gonna see we're gonna he get he pops the fury in a, in a bit here and it just the the fury damage it does a lot that's why void is placed here um i'd say best option probably ghost just nuke him down but ghost is usually banned so right here boom we, we were off by a second right he's got a fury now and he's gonna start hitting us a little bit hard through the block man you know at the same time also he's about to put a debuff on us too so with the fury and that um it's gonna be it's, it's going to be a, a decent amount of uh, health loss there, man. And that, and that happens a few times here. But point is, Anti-Venom, very good for this fight. I enjoy using Anti-Venom. He's very slow and steady for me, but he feels reliable. Um, he feels like he gets the job done in a nice way. Of course, look, he throws the special one right when the debuff goes on me. So this, is, this was the biggest offender right here. But maybe I did it on purpose because look at where we ended our health. Maybe I did that on purpose and you just, you can't prove that I didn't. You know what I mean? Up next though, man, we got an interesting one. This is Hulk Ragnarok um, with Spidey. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Okay, that was great. Um, so it's Hulk Ragnarok. Now, this is Footloose Kinetic Transference, right? So you guys know, I usually take this on like node 47 all the time. Um, where they, they, They're never gonna gain a bar of power here. I'm gonna be doing my Dex Parry Heavy, right? Now, there's the global where they gain the unstoppable or the armor up buff every however many seconds. And when they do, they have a 30% chance to go unstoppable. Now, when they're unstoppable, here, perfect. Now, when they're unstoppable, right? They're stun immune, the Hulk. He smashes. He smashes things sometimes. Now, when the Hulk smashes, he is unstoppable. He's not stun immune. He's unstoppable. Hulk Ragnarok here interacts with the um, global, which was a fun thing to figure out in the moment. So I parry. Boom. Go to heavy attack. <laughs> and I eat a heavy. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, that's okay. We're, we're good to go. Going to push him back with the special two. We got a power back boost on, which is nice. Here he's unstoppable. I'm like, okay, let's, 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 let, how about we, we, we calm the heck down. All right. Let's calm the heck down here. I'm saying to myself, like, holy crap, should I go for a special three and get the slow debuff on and then get to a special two and nuke him. I'm looking at his health, I'm like, no, let's go for two more special twos instead. I think that's the way to go. Um, let's just make sure he never gets to a bar of power. As of right now, he is yet to reach one. There's also a kinetic transference, so we're good to go. I know now that when he smashes, I'm not gonna be able to stun him. Um, so he smashed right now, that's okay. We got all our stuff paused. Going for the special two here, pushing him back down to 12% health. Zero ruptures on this guy. That's like, honestly, okay though. Not too concerned about like ticking him down. Kind of just concerned more so about controlling the fight here. I want to make sure that the withers do not go away. I have two left. That's all right. Watch out for the global here. He went unstoppable. We're at 83% health. Boom, gonna go in and special two to finish it off. So that was fine. Uh, that little heavy attack caught me off guard there, but hey, here we are. Up next, man, we got a Kitty Pride, and I actually took my Nimrod to rank three 
for this one war fight. And you know, I knew I knew that Nimrod was good. Holy crap, man. This is like I don't have much experience playing Nimrod. This is like one of the first times I've played him. <laughs> and holy crap. You know, I talked to some people who use Nimrod a lot. I understand completely what to do now. I understood what to do before the fight, right? But like, I haven't had any like real practical practice with him yet. So, took him to rank three. I'm gonna jump in. This is no suicides. Yes, boosted, but Nimrod without suicides, man, and some boosts against Kitty Pride here. Nuts. So I'm gonna be stalling for a little bit here. I want to wait till we get to uh, you know pretty much our orange mode. I don't know the names right now, but just about that, because now what I want to do is parry, also hit her on the block, get rid of the prowess. Those shocks are freaking potent, man. Now, you can get up to 10 of these passes to enter the eradicate protocol. You don't even need it, because one special two, and Kitty Pride is almost dead. So this fight was nowhere near efficient or what like you should do to get the absolute max out of Nimrod, but does it even matter? Does it even matter? If I was running suicides, that special two, not an eradicate protocol, she would have been dead, flushed right down the toilet, man. So that was crazy, man. Crazy what 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 Nimrod does when there are you know prowess or um regeneration right um so yeah here we had hard knock life against this mojo this is like you know you don't really want to parry here because when you parry you're going to gain the uh disorient and I don't want the disorient that's that's no good we don't want that it's not going to be good here you know so gonna put on an invulnerability boost just in case just in case here i've never fought mojo here i'm not worried about it but it's a close four i'm saying to myself just in case i'm gonna pop this guy on so the way i'm gonna be doing this is, is i'm just gonna kind of be like fighting him you know i'm gonna be like taking blocked hits and stuff like that because when you block on this node it's okay but when you parry that's when you get the disorient so I'm kind of just going to be like fighting him. And as you can see, just fighting him, I'm not like emphasizing hitting into the block or anything. That's like, he's down, he, he's down to 60% health right now and he's ticking. We have nine ruptures on just from really kind of hitting him. About to go for a special two and let's see what this does. This pretty much just about kills him down to 15% health. We have a Destorian, I'm like, hmm, I'd love to bait out a special two, but I'm just going to push him above a bar and he just, he just dies. He just falls down and dies. We have two fights left. One of them is Mangog, Manga Ignog, and one of them is the Nimrod boss, okay? So we've done this fight so many times, right? We've done this fight so many times, and, and this video is 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 getting a, a little long, so why don't we just kind of like go through it, right? Yeah, I, like it, it goes really well. Oh, actually, I think I do actually eat a heavy attack at one point, which might be funny. So maybe you want to see that. It might be right here. Maybe it's not. It is. Boom. That's funny. Cool. That was interesting. Um, but yeah, this is this fight is like it's kind of like clockwork at this point. Uh, just watch out for that heavy attack because it's it could be potent, man. It could be potent. But we healed up from the armor break, which is nice. Um, but this guy is just about dead. We're gonna go ahead and hit into his block at this point, and he's about to burst. There we go. Boom. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss, right? Up next, we have Nimrod. Now, this is a rank four Nimrod, dude. I, I wanted to make sure I still had enough time on my advanced power boost, all right? I'm going to be putting on the Suicide Masteries. I have 70 seconds to do so here. So it's a bit of a race against the clock, all right? Go back in, heal up a little bit. Over 100,000 PI on this Nimrod, right? Check the boss nodes in case they changed. And now we've done this fight before. Rank 3 Spidey versus Rank 3 Nimrod. Unduped. Now it's Rank 4 versus Rank 4 both SIG 200. And basically, man, I want to get to a special three as fast as I can because of the global and because of just in general. I just want to get up there, get the special three, get the slow, you know, the special one, beautiful. I just ate it, but I lost like 1% of my health. So I'm not too concerned about that, man. You know, Nimrod is a common boss. You know, and I feel like Spidey is is very, very good for him here. 
you know? The damage resistance from the True Strike is very, very nice. But on top of that as well, um, the slow debuff that he has on the Special 3 is, is pretty enormous, you know, for countering the slow from the global so here comes a special one again nice we ate it right on the face we lost a couple percent of our health but now we're going for the special three so now we're kind of going to be good to go here in this fight that was the hardest part of this fight another thing is i don't really want to push him to special two not the biggest deal if we do unblockable special one we dex that one there we freaking go right but i don't want to push him to a special two only because if I happen to eat a special two, which I personally believe is much easier to dex than the special one. If I happen to eat the special two, well, that could potentially be game over because if he enters a special two, let's just say in like eradicate protocol at SIG 200, right? That's going to be some pretty hefty shock damage, even with the damage resistance, you know? So, um, we are doing really well here. He's down to 40% health. I'm up at 100% health, man. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of this special one dex. I still don't like it. It still feels inconsistent to me. But we have 15 of our ruptures on this guy. That's three dexes in a row. Nice. Um, I want to get like 20 ruptures and then just like get to a special two and then end the fight. That's, that's kind of the goal here. So we're going to bait one more special one. End it with, with, with getting hit. We love to see it. Gonna bait out a, a heavy attack here from this guy. Or go for an intercept, even better. Special two, and there we go. Full yellow bar finish, eight like six special ones right to the face. And yeah, man, uh, definitely really good war. That Nimrod versus Kitty fight was my 200th fight in my current Deathless streak. So we ended this war at a 203 Deathless streak, which is super duper cool. Um, gotta keep it interesting. Like I said, never used Nimrod before in war. Kitty Pride, one of the only defenders to kill me in war in the past year or so. So champ I've never used versus a champ who has killed me in the past, whenever it was. Had to keep it interesting, right? So yeah. 203 Deathless Streak, pretty cool. That's all I got to say. Rank three Nimrod, rank three Nim God. There was a seagull in the beginning of this video. I'll be seeing you around.